Now let's look at modeling multiplexers in VHDL. So let's start with, let's do a, a little bit larger uh, multiplexer. Uh, let's start with the four to one MUX that we did, uh, that we looked at where we designed it by hand and we kind of figured out that uh, we had two select lines, we could address four inputs, and we came up with the classical approach to designing this, which was a sum of products, and we used uh, inverters on the select lines in order to either pass a variable or what we could call block a variable. So if you think about the truth table for that, uh, it really kind of looks like this. So let's let's look at uh, let's look at it in terms of truth table, and let's zoom in on this. So we have this multiplexer, and we'll call it mux underscore four to one because we're going to implement it in VHDL, and it simply looks like this: select is when it's zero zero f gets a, when it's zero one f gets b, when it's select is one zero f gets c, when it's select is one one f gets d. So let's model select as a vector, just to make it more, uh, to make it easier. And we'll, we'll model A, B, C, and D as bits. Okay, so that'll, that'll allow us to uh, model it a little bit easier, or a little bit more directly in terms of our classical implementation that we just looked at. And then of course F is gonna be the output. Okay, so let's first, let's do our uh, concurrent signal assignments with logical operators. And what we have here is, basically a text schematic here. So here we are. So what we're going to do is this is nothing more than a text-based schematic of the implementation that we already looked at. So let me get them both on the screen so you can see it here. So I've got that list right there and then I'm going to have this is the circuit that we're actually implementing. So notice that all I'm doing is I'm taking I'm taking this is F right there. Uh, I'm just taking F gets assigned this product term, A and with select not, select one not, and with select zero not. So that's what this is. A and with not select zero and not select one. And then I do an or, and that represents ORD with this product term, ORD with this product term, ORD with this product term. So this is how you can implement this directly with concurrent signal assignments and logical operators. Again, you had to already kind of know how to implement the multiplexer, so it doesn't really give you the power of VHDL and the automated uh, synthesis flow in the modern digital design flow. So now let's look at, let's look at a selected, or excuse me, a conditional signal assignment. Look how much easier this is. So in this situation, here's the a new architecture where you simply do, this is a conditional signal assignment, you simply assign to F a when select is 0, 0, else B when select is 0, 1, else C when select is 1, 0, else D. Now this is the first time we've really looked at assigning a signal to another signal. So this sh really starts showing the power of VHDL because we, we entered this directly from the original truth table, but the truth table was in a form that we hadn't really seen before, which is we were listing signal names as the output value. And we were able to do that directly in VHDL, which is perfectly legal. That is perfectly allowed. Now, when you go to a selected signal assignment, so this is the selected signal assignment uh, approach, it becomes even more compact. So here is a four to one uh, multiplexer. This is a four to one multiplexer using selected signal assignments. And all you do here is you list with select, and then you give it A, B, C, or D when this select code. Notice one thing about this is that we didn't have to have an else clause, a final closing else clause in the conditional signal assignment, or also a win others clause in the selected signal assignment. The reason for that is because we listed what input variable we're looking at, which was select, and we listed each and every possible value of it. So notice that select could have four possible input codes. We listed them all out explicitly, so we didn't have a final closing clause. And same thing down here, we didn't have to have a win others because we listed them all out uh, explicitly. So that's how you do a multiplexer in VHDL.